Your pathetic Adric Trinket can't defeat me. I am Molag Bar, Lord of Domination. <laughs> Vestige, you are safe for now. Something precious to you has been riven from Stonefire's being. I have brought it here for you to reclaim. I congratulate you, little insect. Your sting is formidable. You have bested me and released a thousand times a thousand souls back into the Mundus. For the moment, your world is spared. But my grand scheme has only begun to unfold. Excellent. Your power shall prove useful in the coming conflicts. You've made a great and terrible enemy this day. Your world would have been better off if the plane meld had succeeded. Had you bowed before me and accepted eternal servitude, I would have protected you. There are worse masters than I. Far worse. You are but a phantom here in my domain, Stonefire. The mortal prophecies of the scrolls have been fulfilled. Leave this place and return to your pit. You have a powerful ally. Did you know that she would bring you here? What future role has she to play in this grand cosmic farce, I wonder? Yeah, your meddling has already cost me too much. A cursed creature of light and flame. This farce no longer amuses me. Your soul is restored. I can see its light within you. And you have saved your world from a great calamity. But know this, mortal. The forces of Oblivion are legion, and the God of Schemes is but a single player in a complex battle for supremacy. You have wounded him gravely. 
It will be some time before his power is restored. As your enemy fell, the one you call Abner Tharn took Chim El Adabal and fled. He returns to the land from whence he came, the place you call Cyrodiil. The amulet's power has been expended for a generation or more. The Imperial will not be able to use it, nor will he profit from it, though he will spend many frustrated years in the attempt. The tear in the veil between Oblivion and Nern has been repaired. Your world is safe for now. Gone forever, but their memory remains. I can see the light burning brightly behind your eyes. Your friend is a part of you now, just as the strength of the Divines burns like a flame within your renewed soul. Your story has only begun. Molag Ball still has plans for you. In many ways, these events played out to his advantage. And you have attracted the attention of the other Daedric Princes as well. The war between mortal kingdoms is still ravaging your world, but your true enemies are not mortal. If you are to be prepared for the coming conflicts, you must fully comprehend what is at stake. You must live among those you make war upon. Indeed. When you return to Tamriel, go to the place you call the Harborage. My gift awaits you there. It will allow you to travel to other lands and hide your true nature from those who would see you as a foe. I have no more desire to keep you here than you had to remain in Cold Harbor. I shall return you to your little den in the wild. Your surviving companions await you there. Are you prepared to leave? Fill the air. But what happened? How did we return? Lyris? Lyris? Are you there? Not to worry, not to worry. Lyris is fit as a fiddle, and you all seem quite intact as well. I'm here, sire. But where's Tharn? He vanished. Ran off, I think. And he took the amulet you chaps found with him. That bastard. Sai died for that amulet. The amulet's power is expended for generations to come. It will be of no use to him now. Things feel different. Molog Bal's hold on my mind has been lifted. I am finally free of him. And so it ends. I pray that it has, at any rate. My part in this story has ended, but yours has only begun. The world has been made right for now. But it is still wounded and in need of tending. I cannot say. But I do not think the scrolls have finished with me. Perhaps one day we shall meet again. If it is destined that we shall meet again, then destiny will find a way. For me, I think it's best that I should be forgotten by this world. Let me become a sad footnote in Tamriel's long history. I deserve nothing more. His spirit has been dispersed into the Aetherius. He is not dead. Neither is he alive. His essence is outside the cycle of the Mundus. Tharn has undoubtedly begun the long journey back to Cyrodiil with his new prize. His deepest desire is to unite all the errant territories of the Empire under a single banner. Perhaps he will succeed, but it will be a long and arduous task. I have no more prophecies to impart, no more strategies to suggest, no more riddles to ponder. I am just a man, a flawed man, and perhaps that is just as it should be. Farewell, Vestige. Walk in the night, always. We did it. Tamriel will go on. 
what a terrible price we had to pay. I'll bring the news of Sai's death to Kasura at the Abbey of Blades. Maybe I'll stay there for a while. Help rebuild. Sai would want that. After that, grief doesn't change us. It reveals us. <laughs> That's what my father always said. I'll mourn Sai in my own way. I loved him. I know that now. There's a big, deep hole of aching inside me. Even when I'm finished mourning him, it's not going to go away. I've never been able to sit still long. Eventually, the road will call. But where I'll wind up? <laughs> Who knows? Roads are for journeys, not destinations. Maybe we'll run into each other again. Have a drink. Maybe crack some skulls for old time's sake. Don't toddle off just yet. Might I have a word? I take it you ran into Lady Meridia. Lovely woman. Charming. We get on famously. While you lot were having yourselves an epic row, I gave her a shout, asked if she'd be willing to help us out if things went badly. The trick of it was the timing. With every blow to that Daedric windbag, you freed hundreds of souls. She was able to catch yours before it wandered off. Jolly good trick, that. This is delightful. World saved, heroes gone their separate ways, and this knight has a new mistress to serve. Bravo. Couldn't be happy. Smashy. Truly. I don't know that the world will ever see the like of Sai Sahan again. He was the embodiment of loyalty and discipline, qualities that he tried to show.